At the IDEA's 2024 defense exhibition in Pakistan, a significant agreement was signed between Turkey's Repcon and Pakistan's WA Industries Limited, WGEL, to establish a joint production facility in Pakistan for 155mm artillery shell bodies. This collaboration marks a milestone in the military relations between Turkey and Pakistan, aimed at boosting both nations' defense capabilities and responding to the rising global demand for artillery munitions. The new facility in Pakistan will have an impressive annual production capacity of 120,000 units of 155mm artillery shells. This production line is not only designed to cater to Pakistan's domestic defense needs, but also to support international exports. The facility will include an explosive filling line and will locally manufacture explosives and laser guidance kits, strengthening the local defense industry and contributing to the broader supply chain for military munitions. The agreement between Repcon and WGL comes amid a global surge in military spending and an increased need for artillery shells, driven by ongoing conflicts like the Russia-Ukraine war. Both sides in the conflict have expended millions of shells, prompting countries around the world to ramp up production capabilities. In this context, the partnership between Turkey and Pakistan is timely, as it contributes to a broader global effort to increase production capacity for critical munitions. Repcon, based in Istanbul, Turkey, has a history of successful international projects in defense manufacturing. Founded in 1978, Repcon specializes in the design and production of metal forming machines and turnkey production plants. Its technologies include advanced methods like flow forming, shear forming, and hot spinning, which are used to create components for defense, aerospace, automotive, and other sectors. The company's international initiatives reflect its expanding role in global defense production. In October 2024, Repcon secured a contract with the U.S. Department of Defense to establish a 155mm artillery shell production line in Mesquite, Texas. This facility is expected to produce 30,000 shells per month and is set to supply 30% of the U.S. manufactured artillery shells by 2025. Additionally, Repcon has also undertaken a significant $435 million project to design and construct the first TNT production facility in Kentucky since 1986 further cementing its presence in the global defense manufacturing arena. Repcon has also partnered with Francis Boas Group, a leading player in civil explosives and ammunition disposal, to meet the global demand for artillery munitions. These strategic collaborations position Repcon as a key player in addressing the growing need for military supplies worldwide. WA Industries Limited, WGL, established in 1958, plays a central role in Pakistan's defense industry. Operating as the commercial arm of Pakistan Ordnance Factories, POF, WAL manufactures a wide range of weapons, ammunition, and related products for the Pakistani armed forces. Its role as a public limited company also allows it to serve as the sole selling agent for POF civil products, which include arms, ammunition, and engineering goods. Will's extensive manufacturing capabilities include not only military products but also high-rise construction projects and military garments. The company is also a key player in Pakistan's defense export market and holds a stake in the Wan Nobel Group, a multinational company that produces commercial explosives and industrial chemicals. The agreement between Repcon and WAL highlights the deepening military and strategic relations between Turkey and Pakistan. Both countries have increasingly strengthened their defense cooperation over recent years. In February 2023, Turkey and Pakistan conducted joint military exercises in Khyber Pakhtunkhwa province to enhance interoperability and defense readiness. Furthermore, top military commanders from both nations met in April 2024 to discuss future defense collaboration, focusing on military training and production. In September 2024, Turkey and Pakistan participated in the multinational naval exercise, Mevai Balina, in the eastern Mediterranean emphasizing their shared commitment to improving anti-submarine warfare capabilities and maritime security. This growing military partnership is evident in the defense projects being developed, such as the Joint Artillery Shell Production Facility, as well as other collaborative initiatives aimed at strengthening the security and defense infrastructure of both nations. The joint venture between Turkey and Pakistan aligns with the rising global demand for artillery shells, which has been amplified by conflicts like the Russia-Ukraine war. The U.S. is working to triple its monthly output of 155mm artillery shells to 100,000 by 2025, while the European Union plans to produce 1 million shells annually by the end of 2024. These ambitious targets reflect the intense need for military supplies, particularly artillery munitions, as the demand for these products surges. 
global military spending also continues to rise, reaching $2,443 billion in 2023, a 6.8% increase from the previous year. As nations look to enhance their domestic production capabilities and reduce reliance on foreign suppliers, companies like Repcon and WGL are stepping in to meet the demand for essential munitions. Countries such as Poland and Germany have also taken steps to ramp up their defense production, with Germany's Rheinmetall securing a 9 billion euro contract to produce 155 mm artillery ammunition, underscoring the international effort to bolster self-reliance in defense manufacturing. The agreement between Repcon and WA Industries Limited marks a significant step in the strengthening of defense and strategic ties between Turkey and Pakistan. With the establishment of a local 155mm artillery shell production facility in Pakistan, both nations are positioning themselves as key players in the global defense supply chain. As international demand for artillery shells and military munitions continues to rise, this collaboration will not only benefit Turkey and Pakistan, but also contribute to addressing the growing global need for essential military supplies. This partnership is a clear indication of the changing dynamics in global defense production, as countries work to enhance their domestic capabilities amid increasing geopolitical tensions.